Hi everybody. Welcome back to another video. This video is my take on Kevin Jr. after he had been evicted from his high-rise apartment that his mom paid for a year in advance. I was listening to Chronicles something other with Grey Head. And after watching her video and she doing her timeline, you can go watch her video for the details. With Wendy paying for Kevin's um, high-rise apartment in Florida, um, March of 2021, and at least being up March of 2022 this year. And when the account being frozen January 2022 of this year. And the fact that Kevin Sr. Um, speaking of, he's been evicted from his home where him and his side chick and baby is living. Now, all of these people living off of Wendy. My thing is this. Nobody's perfect. Everybody got issues, situation, whatever. But no matter what the situation in that family, as far as Wendy and her family, and Wendy being becoming sick and no longer having her job, and her immediate family being dependent on her, it's like, it's just common sense. That if you are totally 100% dependent on the income of another person, why would you go out there and have a baby on this woman, knowing the baby was the breaking point? Now, when this show is about talking about people's relationships when they go bad and and she just spinning a narrative that's just have a cause her to have a um a lot of people that don't like her literally have no friends that's her life that's what she got paid to do so what kevin senior does it's turning her karma on her. Now, he already with the lady. She already with the side chick for years. So, he decides that he's going to turn the karma on Wendy and have a baby on her. Along with the 15 years or whatever or with the side chick that Wendy okay with. Now, knowing that these people, when they talked about on her show, she got paid to talk about, would all come for her. And what he did was ruin her image, ruin her reputation. Well, not her reputation, but ruin her image. Okay, yeah, now you talk about everybody else. Now let's talk about your situation, which she don't, like she say, she don't get paid to talk about her, so she get paid to talk about other people. And I can understand other people's point of view on that. And I, and I also understand Wendy's point of view on that. But who with any common sense brain cells have a baby on this woman knowing she is your sole provider. You don't make no money outside of her. You have all these businesses, 
that must not be making any money with him and Serena for them to be 100% dependent on when I have to wonder about these businesses. But anyway, he has the baby, forces Wendy to divorce him. Literally forces this woman to divorce him, to have to divorce him when she don't want to divorce him. Fought it every step of the way. She loved her husband. Do all of that. But when he had the baby, and the baby came through, she was forced to divorce him. Then Denmark was forced to let him go. Because he has, even though it was the end of Wendy's show and she should have went out like most people go out, it wouldn't have been so bad. But I guess she thought she was going to be at that show forever. But anyway, then he sues her, gets all this money, so he can support him and his side piece and baby on the side. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Now, Kevin Jr. Kevin Jr., has been evicted out of his apartment, and Chronicle's gray-headly girl, she brought out the fact that she, um, the lawsuit, the apartment, sued him for $70 million. And she brought out the fact that $100,000 was used against um, Wendy's um, credit card, I guess, to pay for his apartment for a year like Wendy did. And you can listen to her explain how she goes through that. Or how he explained it. So we understand Kevin Jr.'s situation. The boy's 22. I have a 20. Um, my son just turned 28. When he was 22, he didn't know nothing about no bank account. Try to teach him, but kids think they're grown. Only and don't let you teach them nothing. So, he's 30, and I'm helping him now. Because he didn't learn when he was 22. I'm helping him now with his, to figure out his accounts and the credit cards and stuff and to stay out of charges and fees and all of that we're going to get you. Eventually, you have to come back to mama. So, I understand Kevin Jr.'s situation, why he would do what he do. But my thing with that is, he was raised by the side chick. And I kind of heard that in one of these um, videos with um, con a content creator that I don't remember who, because I watched so many of them, mentioned the fact that somewhere in there that um, Serena raised him. Serena, when he was sick and, and went had to take off and go over there, no, he was sick, he got on that drug or whatever. But what I understand, I think from Kevin or somebody was saying, Serena was the one that went over there, that was over there making sure Kevin Jr. got past that wherever country they went, the continent they went to to get past that. When they said she went over there, but I kind of remember think Kevin saying that Serena, somebody said Serena was the one that went over there and took care of Kevin. So Serena been taking care of little Kevin since he born because Wendy been working. Because now I remember Wendy was doing all that working. And the way she worked, there's no way she could raise a child. The, 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 daddy kid, the daddy daycare takes over that. Now, I understand little Kevin's situation. But Ke Big Kevin, this man literally thinks. Well, he did manage her and got her, and, and manage her to where she is. But when he made a decision to have this baby and force Kent Wendy to have to divorce him, he should have been planning and doing better to make sure that he got income coming in. Apparently, he don't know how to make money. He just know how to make sure Wendy makes money. But 
Anyway, we all thought Wells Fargo was crazy for freezing her money. But some families just live off of the breadwinner like leashes. So, my thing is, what makes Kevin Sr. think he? Wouldn't it take care of him would have been one thing. But to take care of this side piece and the side baby, where you even do that at? When it should not be forced to pay for this man to live a whole nother life with this young woman and new baby. And the son too, because apparently, well, and apparently, Kevin raised Kevin Jr. And Kevin Jr. don't have a connection with his mother, even though... You can look at the boy and tell he don't have he don't have that connection with his mother. Even though his mother loves him, she wanna take care of him. But when all you doing is just sucking this woman dry over her money, it becomes a problem. So anyway. That's what I that's my perspective on this thing with Kevin Jr. being out in the cold trying to figure out how to survive. Basically, his daddy is going to have to make sure Kevin Jr. is good. Basically, Kevin, the side piece, is going to have to make sure that Kevin is taken care of. Or what he going to do? Go out there and make all kind of crazy decisions? And, and run amok of his life because he don't know what to do at age 22. So I'm going to have to come in and show this boy how to find a job, how to get a job, because he was depending on his mother. That's, coming, that, that's what happens when you take people for granted who make sure you're good. You don't give them no appreciation for nothing. You don't show the appreciation you should show. At the time, you don't even give them credit for making sure you're good. And so now what? They're out in the cold and Will Fargo making sure when they're good, when they're taken care of, cut the whole family off. So if Kevin really wanted to make sure he, he should have been had, he should have been able to come in and help his mother with her finances and all that. But if he's part of the problem because he is making sure his daddy, daddy side piece and side baby good. That's a problem. I guess we'll be seeing more to the story and whatever. Anyway, it's like the, um, this alternate, uh, alternate perspective on Kevin Jr., Wendy, and Kevin seen subscribe to the channel, the video thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye.